everyone, I'm Kat, and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So February marks one month of me receiving the Pettivore subscription box, and so I was inspired by my husband who asked me what my favorite products were that I had received in the Pettivore box to do a video telling you guys what my favorite products were that I've received throughout the year. That way you guys can see what I've kind of gotten from the Pettivore box and what I've ended up really liking and loving and using throughout the year. I do have to say though that this video does not include the products that I got in the January Pettivore box because I just haven't had them or used them long enough to really fully formulate how I feel about them, but I do have from February all the way through December. So in case you aren't familiar with Pettivore, Pettivore is a cruelty-free and vegan subscription box service. The products that are included in those boxes are also kind of what I call green or eco beauty products as well. So they contain um, better ingredients than conventional makeup products. And also Pettivore um, is an online shop as well where you can purchase products through Pettivore itself. And they have on the Pettivore website, not just beauty products, but they also have housewares and now they have clothing and jewelry. And it's really exciting and really cool to see all the different cruelty-free and vegan products that you can purchase on Pettivore. One of the things I really do like about Pettivore is that when you receive the subscription box, you can review the products on the Pettivore website, and then they will give you points for reviewing the products, and then you can use those points towards any purchases on the Pettivore website, and those points actually rack up really fast, be equivalent to a $15 or $20 off on a Pettivore purchase, which um, I've already managed to use those uh, coupons a couple of times already in just the year that I have been getting the subscription box and purchasing products. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, this video is not sponsored uh, by Pettivore. I just wanted to let you guys know about Pettivore because it's something I've been using throughout the year and I actually really enjoy Pettivore and the whole brand as a whole and it is the only subscription box that I have kept up for an entire year. So that in itself does say something about it. First off, I'm going to talk about what is my favorite product that I got in all of the Petty Boy boxes and one of the best product discoveries of 2017 for me. Like this product really rocked my world. And this is the Isla nail polish remover. And this is the full size bottle of it. We originally had gotten a little wipe pack it like a single little towelette with the nail polish remover on it in a petty wear box and I loved it so much that I went ahead and purchased the full size bottle. I've talked about this a lot um, because I do love it so much. It was in my 2017 best of hair care, skin care, body care, etc. video so I will link that up above. The short and sweet of why I love this. This nail polish remover removes your nail polish with ingredients that are less toxic. Second of all, it doesn't smell as badly as a traditional nail polish remover. Like it does have a scent, it is nothing compared to the scent of a traditional nail polish remover. And third, it works. It works so well and it just removes your nail polish. To me, it works just as well as a conventional nail polish remover. And I guess the fourth thing is also just really nourishing as well. So it helps your nails not feel as brittle after you remove the nail polish. It's hydrating on your cuticles. I don't know if you can see here, but I've actually made quite a dent in this bottle. You might be able to see where the liquid line is in it. And once this runs out, I will 100% be purchasing another bottle of nail polish remover. I will never be without it. It is fantastic. And I'm so glad I got this in a petty board box because I probably would have never tried this product out but I really do love it. A, another product that I've also repurchased and I've gotten a full size of it, and this is the Osea Sea Minerals Mist. And this is a toner and you can just mist it on your face. And I really love it. And I'm also really glad that I got this product too because it introduced me to Osea skincare in general, which I really have been loving. I have purchased their blemish balm. I love that. I use that every day too. I use this mist every day. I just really like the mist. It just feels really nice on my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. I love putting it on um, after I wash my face. I'll spray this on my face and then I have a rose quartz roller and I will just roll my face and kind of massage the mist into it. And it just really helps my face feel refreshed. Also, if I am using, for instance, the Leilani Skincare Mermaid Mask, I will mist this on my face first. That way that mask is easier to apply on my face. Really, if you just need a toner, a pick-me-up, a mist, I really just like this one. I went through the entire little 
sample size of it and then went ahead and purchased the full size of it and I've already made uh, quite a dent in this as well and I just love it. This product I also didn't think I would fall like this in love with but this is the My Couture blotting paper and the one I have is the bamboo blotting paper. I just got this in the Petty Bar box. I believe it was in like June or July which is a perfect time to get blotting paper because it's during the summer and your skin is typically more oily during the summer and I do have really oily skin. But what I love about this blotting paper is it works and also I love the delivery method on of it because it comes with these little sheets and you just tear out an individual sheet instead of having to like grab one out of a little booklet. And so I find it so much easier to just get one sheet instead of four or five, which used to happen to me. And also the sheets are pretty large um, as well which I find I only have to use one sheet to blot my entire face where with a lot of other blotting sheets, I would have to use two to blot my entire face. I wouldn't have probably tried this if it hadn't come in my box, but I really do love it. I've got this one, Reagan from Indie Boo. She sent me one of her My Couture blotting papers because she doesn't have oily skin, doesn't really use blotting paper. So I don't need to purchase any. When I eventually run out, I will definitely purchase more of these. Another product that I also fell in love with was the Eau Natural Sustain in On Point. And it is this really nice pinky nude um, lipstick. And what I like about it is it is more of a moussey lipstick, but then it kind of dries down and stains your lips. It does feel a little bit drying on my lips throughout the day, but I just love the consistency. I love the color. I love the wear time on it. When I want a nude lipstick, this is one that I reach for and I know I will love it. It really works well with any look. So if you ever feel unsure of what color of lipstick should I apply for like this crazy eye look, for me, it's always this one. If I grab it, it will work. So that is really neat and it's a really nice standby to have. And also, once again, I'm really glad I got this because this really got me into trying more Au Natural products and now I have their cream foundation stick, which I love. It is like one of my favorite foundations I've ever used. I also have a couple of their bullet lipsticks, which I love as well. I really like the formula of those. I've just had really good luck with Au Natural in general and I really have to thank the Sustain lipstick for kind of introducing me to the brand as a whole. Another product that I've talked about rather extensively on my channel is the Meta Skincare Intensive Replenishing Balm. And this is just a balm that you can apply on your face, anywhere you want, anywhere you really need a balm. And it smells incredible. I just love the scent of it. And I find that if I just need extra hydration, like anywhere on my face, on my hands, just really anywhere I grab this and it just does wonders for me. Also, what's really cool about it as well is that I do have oily acne prone skin, but it doesn't seem to irritate my skin or break me out more, which is also really nice. And especially during the winter, like that product is really just a staple for me. Another product that I don't currently have, but really love and need to repurchase is the Candy Botanicals um, Galaxy Milk. And that is a liquid highlighter, which is just beautiful. Like it is so intense, but I really love an intense highlighter. So I absolutely loved it. And it smelled incredible as well. It had the most beautiful floral scent. It was an intense scent, but I loved it. And unfortunately, mine did go bad on me, which does happen with more natural products. They tend to have a shorter shelf life than conventional makeup products. I rather would have cleaner ingredients than a longer shelf life. So I just need to go ahead and repurchase that, but I really did love it the whole time that I had it and I really miss it. So another product that I've gotten relatively recently, but fallen really in love with, is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Hand Cream. And what I like about this is it is moisturizing, but it's not too heavy or gloopy. It absorbs in, but leaves your hands feeling moisturized. If my hands are overly chapped, it doesn't burn either. And I also like that it is anti-aging. I'm not currently showing any signs of aging in my hands. I'm really fortunate, I'm 25 but I always think it's never too young to start an anti-aging skincare or in this case, body care regimen. It can only help. So I really have been loving that and that did come in one of my petty bar boxes. And at first I was just kind of like, hmm, I don't really need an anti-aging hand cream and I was going to pass it along to my mom, but I actually ran out of hand cream and was in need of a hand cream. So I tried this one out and I've really fallen in love with it. And the final product that I really enjoyed getting in my petty bar box this year what is the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream. And this is a moisturizer. And part of what I really like about it is 
it just absorbs into my skin so easily. It doesn't, it doesn't feel heavy, but it just provides extra moisture. Especially in the winter, if I wanna apply a more matte foundation or my skin is just looking particularly dry, I'll put this on before putting on my makeup and it really just helps my makeup glide on and sit more beautifully on the skin. As someone with oily skin, moisturizers always make me really nervous, but this one just, it's not heavy, so it really does work well and just absorbs in and does what it needs to do. Overall, I am really happy with Petty Boy. There have been some boxes where I've had products, multiple products that I've liked. There have been some boxes where I've had no products that I liked. It really has been a little bit hit or miss, but I think overall I have learned about some really nice brands and some really great products that I wouldn't necessarily have tried otherwise. The Petty Boar boxes are great value. The price is $18 and you normally get somewhere between like $45 to $60 um, in value for those boxes. And also you have the point system with the reviews as I mentioned, so I do like it. One of the main reasons I have stayed subscribed to Petty Boar is it does allow you to input kind of your preferences. So you can put in like what hair type you have, what's your makeup style, is it more bold, is it more natural, is it classic? You can put in your skin type as well and your skin concerns and kind of what kind of products you're looking for in terms of skincare. You also put in a scent profile as well. So I think overall it is a more tailored subscription box than most subscription boxes, which is why I stick to it because I find that a lot of subscription boxes tend to cater to dry skin and will have like these super moisturizing products, which I don't really want to use. Whereas I feel like Petty Boar, I get products that actually are beneficial to me. So overall, I plan to keep up my Petty Boar subscription at least for a while. I don't know. I'll keep it up permanently or not, but at least for right now, I'm happy and I look forward to getting my Petty Boar box every month. Be sure to let me know if you liked this video and liked me doing this type of video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Girl. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.